that we, you know, we need to be focused on our craft, but it can't consume you. And that was the mistake I made. You know, I let it consume me in my younger self. And when I did get fired by the NBA, it almost, it almost like took me down because it became, it really did become who I was, not what I did. You know, and, and, it's, and that's part of the, the mistake that I made. It, it became who I was. And, and now it is what I do. And I love doing what I do, but it's not who I am. I'd love to hear a little bit more about that experience. So you were NBA official 1997. You were simultaneously the WNBA coordinator of officials? I was. That was Daryl Garrison's idea. Gotcha. <laughs> It's interesting, um, just because obviously now all the coordinators are have moved on and retired. So you're like a little bit of a player coach back then, like Bill Russell of refs. Um, no. And Daryl was Daryl was the supervisor of the NBA and also refereed in the NBA oh. at one time. So, yeah. Yeah. but just just looking at your your career resume, that that it just you know it, it stuck out like wow, this doesn't seem like it fits. She was fired from the NBA. You don't have to, but do you care to discuss anything from that? Any value that we can extract from that? I mean, I th again, I think the biggest value is that you're, you're going to have setbacks. How do you deal with them? Well, how do you deal with them? Whether you get uh, fired by the NBA or you get fired out of, you know, or you, get, you don't get renewed contract in the Big East. How are you going to deal with it? Because we're all going to have to deal with something like that in your career. You know, you may not, it may not make ESPN like mine did or international newspapers like mine did, but in your world, it does. You know, just because mine got more playtime on ESPN, to you, it's just as important. How are you going to deal with it when the, when the Big East doesn't pick you up the next season? Do you go forward positively? Or do you just, you know, take that, take a negative attitude towards that and say, it's somebody else's fault. It's only, what else can you do how do you learn from it? You know, it's not an easy thing to go through, but it is something that I think all of us are going to go through it and on, on whatever level it may be. And you've got to make a decision. How are you going to navigate those waters? What are you going to learn? And how do you come out on the other side? And I really believe because of that event in my life, I came out a better person. I learned a lot. I came out a better person and I'm still blessed to be able to referee a game I love. Mm -hmm. So it all worked out okay, you know, and then I was given the opportunity to also supervise the WNBA and learned more that way. I mean, you learn a lot as an administrator. Yeah. You learn a whole lot. You, you learn what coaches really do think of us. You, know? mm -hmm. <laughs> you learn, you know, and, you know, being able to work with a lot of different officials through the years and whatnot, it's just... I just enjoy learning from others, be it a first year official or a 30 year official. So, but like I said, everyone's going to have those type of events that they're going to have to figure out, how am I gonna deal with this? Can I turn, you know, the lemons into lemonade to be cliche-ish? Can you do it? Not easy, but you can.